Alright guys, mine uh alright guys, Minecraft all year here. I've already made this video multiple times, something always seems to go wrong. Sorry about that. So I'm just gonna get very quickly uh through this here. Alright, so basically this is how to make an alarm that is triggered by a pressure plate or a button or a lever or whatever you want. First thing first, you're gonna have to make my flashing lights. Or not mine, I didn't make it, but you're going to have to make the flashing lights. Put a redstone repeater facing that way, another facing that way, they must be opposite like that. Set them to the longest delay. And connect them like this. Alright, great. Now what you want to do is have some sort of triggering device. Pressure plate lead it to a block the redstone torch on top, redstone torch on the side take some redstone and lead it over here and put a torch on like this so basically what happens is these redstones are putting energy into this when there's power coming through into a redstone torch, it turns it off. To stop that power, you would step on the pressure plate. That would turn this back on and turn this on. And so this, even when they step off, it's lit. So now you can tell that someone's been in your house. Another way, it, it only works, I mean it works for me, for my online alarm but um the pressure plate usually doesn't work like I said it works for me I guess it'll just be random for you guys but you can also take a lever I'm just doing it with a lever um if someone steps off and on the pressure plate very quickly like this it would cause these to flash which would be very cool I mean it works with mine on multiplayer even when I don't step on I'll stand on the pressure plate for a long time and this will continue to flash but I, it, it's not working for me right now, so I have to show you the lever, but yeah. And now something you can do with this that I found out is you can take a note block connected to the end of that. So now it's even more like an alarm. Now you have sound along with that too. Which can tell you, you know, if someone's broken into your house multiplayer very neat um i kind of actually discovered this myself when i was just fooling around with redstone so yeah that's basically how to make a redstone alarm